What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Dinosaur today, Dinosaurus. So this is basically like an alligator, okay? So, um, he's a big dino alligator, he's got like just a big head, massive teeth, real intimidating looking. So, focus on his head. Uh, let's go, landscape page, pencil and eraser. Use your pause button when I go too fast, because I know I do sometimes when I move my hand. Sorry about that. Right, we'll start with his eyes. So, his eye, we're looking at him from the side. So we'll go. Eye line curving this way. Comes around, like so. In there, we're gonna give him like a thin eye. One of these kind of things. Makes him look a bit more sinister. Then we have eyelid line around here, around the top. And you know, you can do as much of this kind of stuff as you want. Texture. He's got this kind of frowning brow sort of area, right? like big sort of aggressive sort of eyebrow. Can eyebrows be aggressive? Yeah, I guess they can. sort of jawbone or something, eye bone here. Right, and his snout comes long out from this frown, right? So it kind of bumps and stuff, goes this way. Like this, and then he has like a big round sort of nostril area here. It's like a dark hole. Then his snout comes down around here, real big. So he's like a crocodile, but sort of more bulbous looking. Kind of like, that's a bit like a hippo, kind of reminds me of a hippo. So his teeth then are down here, right? And his teeth kind of just grow out from his lips, right? So we'll go just bump around various sections. He's got like three at the front, and then there's a gap, right? And we'll just, we'll add them one by one. So we'll go big tooth here. one here and then another one here and there'll be all texture and stuff on these so like you know teeth sort of gnarly texture like that and there'll be all texture on his skin but we'll just get all the teeth in first so we'll just bump around them loads of them here now and they get smaller as we go back so just add these kind of bumpy lines and then fill a tooth in under each bump, right? So you'll just go like here, right? And then another one here. Another one here. Okay, this kind of thing, and you, you should be able to see maybe some of his gums sort of in between. So this mouth line keeps going. Okay, so it goes all the way back, so like a big smile. And it goes back like that way. And then he's got a skin line inside here. And then the back of his head, we'll just get the main shapes in. Right, the back of his head goes back all the way to that smile line. And then we'll add like lots of texture, right? So these bumps, right, come up from his mouth. So what I mean, like, so like this kind of stuff.
and like this sort of bumping ridge line along his nose as well. There. And all these. And all these bumps and lines coming from the teeth. And this goes all the way around the mouth. Like so, and again, like as much sort of texture as you want to add on this guy, you can. So he's got like lots of scales and bumps and stuff here. So. And like lizard skin and Maybe a scar somewhere, like where? Here, that's where I can fit it. Scars are always good things to add to dinosaurs. Makes them look really gnarly. And just go over my edge lines a little bit. Okay, so that's top jaw, right? So then we'll do the bottom. So we've got this kind of big bottom jaw here. So this is that fleshy skin bit, right? That sort of, you know, is in between reptiles' mouths, right? Goes like this way. Right, like that. And then the bottom jaw, real big, like crazy big, comes down around here. Into there. And then top of his, it's, his teeth go all this way. And again, they're kind of bumpy and stuff here. Three ones at the front, like this. And then his chin comes around. goes like that way, but there's these kind of bumpy sections here. So he got two sections to his, this is like the jaw bone, and he's got this rubbery skin just down here, right? But we'll just, we'll finish this first and then we'll do that. So we've got these three teeth at the front. Like so, and there's like gum lines and everything. So, like lots of these teeth now. And you can make them kind of roundish. You don't have to be sharp. Doop. Right, and then he's got, he's got like another sort of layer here, and then like all these lizard bumps and stuff, like we did along his tongue here, or his top lip, should I say, like all these, you know, texture lines and bumps that come along here.
I'm gonna add a big, bigger scar, I think, coming down here. So like part of that scar up here, so like he got slashed or bitten on the face, just there. And then lots more texture. Texture on his teeth. Right, and dots and dirt and scratches and whatever you can. You could always do texture, you could do texture for hours, so. Right, like that, and like maybe if you want to add a tongue, there isn't a tongue in the picture. I'm gonna add one. So let's see where would it come out. We're gonna go. We'll just add it here. Like back down around there. Maybe like another sort of bump for it there. I think it needs a tongue. And you can do some, I like adding sort of drool sometimes as well, coming from them. And like his tongue all slimy and stuff. Yeah, like that. Okay, so then, now he has this big under throat area, right? So it curves. Like so. It just goes up underneath his neck. And then he's another section. Bumps and bull, it goes like real along that way, right? Like so. And this will go like up around Lots of these sort of lizard skin areas goes right up to the back of his neck. So you might have a few of these. So one here and then another one. Go one up there. All these kind of wrinkle lines and stuff. Going around this way and then like some texture lines in between. Same sort of thing here, so. So, and then like lots of like texture and stuff all in here. So then the back of his head goes this way. So we go back of his neck kind of, and it has spikes all on top, right? So it has these kind of spikes here. Coming along. And then back this way all bumping. Back this way. 
it's kind of like a few layers of those then going down but this is like the back of his neck and then the body goes like this way and then maybe some of his arm kind of here and you'll have like a shoulder area And then we'll just keep adding, there's layers and layers of these spikes, right? So you gotta just do a few more. Just some skin lines just to show that it's kind of growing out of his skin rather than just sitting on top. Go on here. Right, like that, and then we break up the skin into these lines, right? thicken up some of these major ones so just making them darker And then adding all this texture in between. And on his arm and stuff. So if you do this kind of crisscross pattern, it kind of I find it's an easy way to make things look scaly, you know? This kind of so you go down and then some lines across, you know, go in different directions. It's an easy way of drawing scales without having to actually do the whole scale thing. And then just darkening up some lines just to make them look like more thick, dense sort of areas with more shadow on them. So like under his chin here. So you can darken up your lines and add texture all day, basically. It's kind of a personal choice when you want to stop and But I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw Dino Sucus or Socus or Sucus. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.